What's up guys welcome back to new episode of GTM designs. In this video we are going to create a liquid and smoke simulation in Blender. We can easily achieve this liquid and smoke simulation with Blender's new man the flow simulation system. Without further to do let's get started. We are skipping these steps. In this video, we are only looking to create simulations, so we are skipping the modeling, texturing and lighting steps. Without further to do, let's dive into the video. Before the simulations, we want to animate the elixir bottle. So we are creating a cube and parent the whole object onto it. And then we can animate the cube. After creating the cube, go to the object property and change the display settings to wire so that we can see the object. We need to add edge loops to create the center point. Set it as the origin of the geometry and select the vertex and press Shift S. Select cursor to selected. Then go to the object mode, go to object, set origin. Origin to 3D cursor. We need to parent all elixir bottle object to the cube. To do that, first select all the elixir bottle object. And lastly, select the cube. Press Ctrl P and object key transform. By doing that, we can easily animate the whole object. Yes, it's time to animate. We are aiming for a simple swing animation. The plan is to set the elixir to flow inside the bottle. That's why we want 2 and 4 swing animation. Now the animation is done. Then it's the time to create the fluid simulation. To start with the fluid simulation, we need to solidify the glass. We need the elixir to be contained inside the bottle. So to contain the liquid inside the bottle, we need to add or assign solidify modifier and need to make the object a collider. Otherwise, the liquid will bounce out of the surface. For creating simulation, duplicate the bottle and scale it. We can delete the solidify modifier and make it as emitter. This is the time where we are starting to work with liquid simulation. To do that, go to the object menu, click on the quick effects, then to the quick liquid. Now we go the emitter and a domain. I am adjusting the size of the domain to fit the size of the whole simulation. Otherwise, the simulation will collide inside the domain box. Now select the emitter and change some settings. First, change the flow behavior to inflow and assign the glass portal as colliding object. Go to fluid, effector and collision and play with the surface thickness value to get accurate as much as possible. And by assigning proper value, the fluid will collide within the bottle. Then go to the domain property and change the division. Wow, there is an error. I think it because of the closed surface. Okay, so we can toggle it out and we can cut the top part out. Here I am cutting the closed surface, it will correct the error. Yep. 
yeah that's it now we can adjust some settings to make the simulation more awesome We are almost done with the simulation. Now we can fix the position of the emitter and bake it out. For final bake, I am going with 86 resolution. Okay, the simulation is looking good. Now we want to on the mesh and rebake it. Yeah, that's it for the liquid simulation. Now we can move on to assigning material to the elixir. Okay, we can move on to the smoke simulation. For creating smoke simulation, we are using these small spears as emitters. We can start with selecting the spears and then press F3 on the keyboard and search for quick smoke and press on it. It will create the domain and the spears will become the emitting objects. Now we will see how to tweak and adjust some parameters of emitter and the domain. For creating fluid and smoke simulation, we need a domain and a flow. Domain act as a container and flow act as the emitter. It will emit the particles. We are going with 124 resolution and adaptive domain resolution with additional two divisions. We are finalizing the simulations with adding two turbulence force fields. Okay, let's bake it out. Yeah, here is our final smoke simulation. One thing left is to add a color to it. Thank you for watching the full video. Thank you once again.
once again and we can see in the next video